significant ice accumulations possible Sunday into especially Monday morning and perhaps even Tuesday morning across much of central Iowa. Thanks for joining us. This is the National Weather Service here in Des Moines. So across northern Iowa, snow sleet likely won't see as much freezing rain. Much of the freezing rain and ice accumulations will be along Interstate 80 into the south and to the west, wherever a quarter of an inch of ice is possible. As a result, we have an ice storm warning here. This includes Polk and Story counties, all the way up to Webster counties, and again, much of southern and southwestern Iowa. The rest of the area, freezing rain advisory, and this likely will continue into Monday evening and perhaps even early Tuesday morning. Timing-wise, what we are looking at, uh, early on, I think we'll just see the lighter amount. So then as we start heading after midnight, to especially the 6 a.m. hour of Monday, right during the Monday morning commutes where we will start to see a lot of the ice begin to accumulate across Interstate 80 into the south. This includes Des Moines, the Moni, and up to Ames as well. As we head to Monday afternoon, though ice accumulation amounts will be less, there will still likely be a little bit of ice and sleet going on across the Des Moines area, which could make the Monday evening commute a little bit hazardous and treacherous travel as well. Up to the north is when we likely start to see the snow during the Monday afternoon and evening hours. We could see upwards of 1 to 2 inches for a much of far northern Iowa. In all, what we are looking at accumulation-wise, quarter to half an inch of rain. This was mainly where the ice storm warning was, so includes Ames, includes Des Moines, all the way down to Atlantic and southwestern Iowa. Lesser amounts, although still amounts that are enough to create travel problems likely in Waterloo to Mason City. The light snow mainly confined to northern Iowa as we get towards Esterville and the Algona area where we could see one to two inches of snowfall accumulation there for Tuesday morning. For your seven day local forecast, just go to our webpage, weather.gov slant Des Moines, type in your location here, press go and you'll get a local seven day forecast for where you live. Road conditions 511ia.org, definitely give those a look at before you head out. You can also look at our Twitter and Facebook pages at NWS Des Moines. We'll be there, keep you updated throughout this entire event, and we're there 24-7, 365. So again, what we're looking at, snow, sleet, freezing rain, ice. Ice accumulations most likely will be the highest towards southern and southwestern Iowa. The Des Moines metro is included in the ice storm warning as of now. Impacts, roadways, sidewalks, parking lots, etc. will be ice covered and slippery. Travel will be very hazardous. We could see a couple local power outages as well. Then beyond this event, we will be watching the rivers Wednesday into Saturday. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe out there.